Welcome back to The Average Kitchen. Another review video here for you. Mark with a C here. Uh, got Jamie on camera. We are going to review the Ninja Foodie Never Stick Possible Pan. We have reviewed the pot, now we got the pan. Uh, again, comes in a variety of different colors, four, five, six different colors. Really excited to try this out. As you can see, it comes with this built-in plastic tool. It sits on the lid. And really kind of cool, this built-in strainer. And that's gonna be the first thing we're gonna test is boiling some pasta and then just lifting it right out of the pan. So uh, the pan itself, I never even measured it. It's 12 inch. Oven safe up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. They suggest never using aerosol sprays like Pam or anything like that, cooking sprays on the surface. Dishwasher safe. They talk about this being good for roasting and braising, straining, cooking pasta as we just mentioned before, but also steaming, which is very intriguing to me as well, where it would be like a double broiler where you'd put in, say an inch of water, put this in place, put in a bunch of broccoli and steam it. Four quart capacity. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this filled with water and get it on the stove and then we're gonna boil some pasta and cook it up and just use the built-in strainer and see how that works. All right, so here's the problem. I actually took water out of this uh, pan and Jamie measured it real quick and I won't do it now because the water's boiling, but there's basically like maybe an inch, three quarters of an inch of water in this. So, and, and as you saw, I had to drop the, uh, the gas here because it was gonna boil over and I'm very intrigued that the pass is gonna displace the water and we're probably gonna get some more spillage here. Now, it is, as Jamie said, it is, well, I'll do the whole box. It is quite wide and you can get a lot of pasta in there and um, that's good but I'm very concerned with how this lip is designed and I get that the lip, lip is there to drain other things other than pasta, but yes, this is a box of pasta, so what is this? 410 grams, whatever that is in any other measurement, I don't know, I suck at that. I wish it was deeper. That's my first initial thought. Okay, so besides my disappointment with the, the lack of water you can actually put in here, because you could see we're only like two minutes into this pasta cook and a bunch of the pasta is not even under the water. And I mean, yeah, I guess you can make an argument that that's a full box of pasta, but the, my other big concern is the inconsistency of the pan. And you can see on the, on the closest side of the camera here, you got boiling and you got a little bit on the exterior here. Back here, you got almost nothing. And in the middle, virtually no boiling at all. So, I mean, this is a gas stove on the biggest burner I have. I've never had to manipulate pans for the consistency of who's gonna get the most love as far as what side of the pan is gonna get the most love from the uh, gas stove. So that's a bit of a concern for me. I mean, I don't, I'm, I have it on number seven because I don't want it to boil over. You can see this is like just on the verge of, there it goes. So I gotta drop that back down again. Maybe there's some scientific phenomenon for this and if you're a scientist, uh, let me know, but it just doesn't seem consistent for me. So as we uh, turn off the uh, stove top here, really kind of disappointed with this kind of pasta aspect. I suppose if you cooked serving of one for pasta or two maybe, it'd be all right. This I would say is like a serving of four or five. I don't know, I, just, the water aspect just throws me off. But let's bring this over to the sink behind me. So obviously that lifts out. And as you can see in the pan, there is a really good amount of water in there. The problem is, as this pasta, I did an 11 minute cook on this, which I know some traditionalists may be like, oh, it's too long to cook pasta or whatever, but as the pasta started to get bigger and displace the water, a lot of the pasta was sitting above the water line, which obviously, again, is not good. And again, there's a decent amount of water in there. Let's just pour it out just to show you. So I think the design flaw is that the basket doesn't sit low enough down inside of the water, which forces you to have to bring that water level up because this is the portion here that was spilling over. Well, I mean, I'd have to measure that, but that's two and a half or three inches there. But yet we only had, what Jamie, when we measured it, like less than an inch of water 
from the bottom of the stainless steel strainer to the top level. That's a bit of a problem. All right, so the next test is a couple farm fresh eggs that I get from uh, my friend Josh. Shout out Josh. The Never Stick Pan. So they say no cooking spray, no butter, no nothing in it. Uh, let's just crack a couple eggs. We're gonna go with uh, over hard eggs. All right, moment of truth. Let's try to flip them. Pretty good. Kind of a weird color, maybe a little cooked heavy on the uh, bottom side there. It's a stick test, not an egg test. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, so a couple over hard eggs. But really the biggest question, reason for the test is the cleanup, the no stick. So far I would say it's passing. What do you think, Jamie? I think so. Okay, so let's get those cooled down. And the next thing we're gonna do is grate a bunch of cheese, put it in here and burn the crap out of it and see how that easily slides out or doesn't. Got the gas on max and we're basically just going to, that's more of the dramatic sizzle we wanted. So the goal here or the plan here is to melt this cheese to the point where it uh, burns. And then from there, we want to give a chance to cool, which simulates anybody's worst nightmare. And um, then we wanna see how easily it's gonna clean up. Let's face the facts, if you get to this stage, especially if you're a young guy trying to like, I don't know, do something at home and you're looking at this, you're thinking, this is not good. All right, we're starting to smoke here. Um, we got a lot going on. I said to Jamie, at what point do we shut this down? I think it's fair to say we burnt the cheese. So let's get that off the heat, burner off, and let's give it uh, 10, 15 minutes to cool and then see what happens. Okay, the cheese test is done. We can obviously see burnt and messy. I got a pair of tongs here, rubber tip tongs. I hope this just should just slide right off. Well, that's a good sign. All right, so the cleaning, a uh, couple piece of paper towel here. Pan's actually maybe still a little bit warm, but which is not a bad thing for cleaning. But as you can see, with just two pieces of paper towel, I mean, it's still gotta go in soap and water, let's be honest, but I don't know, clean up pretty well. Um, does this show the non-stick? I mean, what else can you do? I mean, eggs didn't stick. Half a pound of burnt cheese, like burnt to the point we had to open up the back doors so the smoke detector didn't go off and then let it cool. I mean, obviously you could see, I mean, this thing's a pancake that could snap in half. It's, it's a mess. Jamie and I, the average kitchen, have come up with a scoring matrix of multiple categories that we score things off camera. We don't want to bore you with it. We're giving this a seven and a half out of 10. The price point's high, Jamie, 129 US. 129 US, he's giving me the nod. So that's like 160 bucks Canadian roughly. I'll be honest, I was, I'm on tilt. This stainless steel, I was very excited about this, very excited about this. And then when I realized you only have like a half an inch of water above that to try to boil past in, threw me off. It just threw me off. The pan's nice and this looks like, like a brushed aluminum maybe. You know, the color's fantastic, stainless steel, the lid's nice. I was really excited about the ability to boil pasta. And then you take your pasta and dump it in your sauce. You know, it's fantastic. I don't know, it should have been deeper. You should have been able to put more water on top of that pasta. That's my view on that. But overall, for me, it's just okay. Even though our scoring matrix gave us a seven and a half out of 10, super bummed about the strainer and the depth of the water for the pasta. That's our video. Hope you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and leave us a comment. We love hearing from you all over the world. We'll see you on the next one.